Okay, friends, so here I am surrounded by all the things um, as we get ready for packing for Disney. Um, <laughs> it's just an explosion of stuff here in our living room, but there is a little method to the madness, even though it looks like utter chaos. Okay, so um, one thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pack the kids in this bag. So this is just a 31 bag. It is a weekend bag. Initially I thought that I could pack both of their things in my suitcase, but that didn't work out. Uh, my husband and I packed in my suitcase. So the kiddos will use this bag. Um, now what I did was over here in this basket, I have got all of their clothes. Um, and so what I did is I put everything in Ziploc bags and I know this packing method is used by a lot of um, parents, but I did something a little different. I actually wrote our itinerary and the outfits and stuff on an index card and put the index card inside of the bag so that I can reuse these bags later. We take a trip in the summer. Um, we go two weeks to camp and I can reuse these bags for that trip. Um, I likely will not put food in these things. Um, they'll just be for clothes, of course. Um, so rather than writing on the bags, I just put it all on an index card. And I noted anything special that we were going to uh, be doing that day, where we were going to be. C stands for Colt, my son, and the date and um, our special thing. So I've got all the kiddos clothes in these things. Um, I also packed them each a separate bag for the park. So this is just an extra outfit that we will throw in. You never know what can happen. Um, so I just have packed, you know, socks and undies, shorts, um, a t-shirt. This is not an Incredibles t-shirt. Um, I ended up switching something out, um, and a pair of flip-flops. So this will go in my park bag and then I'll also have one for my daughter as well and I'm going to pack an extra t-shirt and an extra pair of socks. I've just watched a lot of packing videos and many people have mentioned adding extra socks to their park bag so we will have that in our bag as well. So this whole basket in here is filled with all of their clothes all ready to go. So over on the chair here I have got all of the clothes that are set aside for our trip down and potentially for our trip back. So on our way down, we are going to stop at a friend of my husband's um, and we're gonna spend the night there. And then we're gonna travel from there down to Florida, but we will probably stay at a hotel as well. And so what I'm doing is I'm packing just a separate bag for a hotel stay. Okay, so what I've done with the kids' pajamas is I have folded them in such a way that um, I've just folded up the pants and then I wrap the shirt around it so it's just like this little packet and then they have their pajamas like that and it's all together. Now, my kiddos have some pajamas. Um, we're in the middle of winter here and obviously it's not going to be the middle of winter in um, Florida. It's going to be quite warm. Um, so I did pack some lighter pajamas. I do have some long sleeve ones though um, just because I know the air conditioning will be on and things like that but I do have some lighter ones. So what I've done with these are they're sort of like a two for one. So you get a top and then you get a set of shorts and you also get a set of pants. So what my plan is, is that they'll just um, use the same top for two nights and then um, they'll just have the shorts one night and then the pants one night. So we've got a few pajama sets like that. And then, um, yeah, there's just a few like that. And then the rest are long sleeved and they're just all packed like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get them into the bag here. Okay, so I've got all my daughter's things on this side and then um, my son's on this side. And I lined his up in this way to maximize the space in the bag and to fill up every little nook and cranny. So next I'm gonna go ahead and put all of their outfits in the bag and then we'll fill it in with their swimwear. And um, I've also packed for each kiddo, they get just a couple extra shirts and extra shorts. Um, you know, just 
just because they're little ones and you know if we come back to the room and they're hot and sweaty um, it's always nice to just put on fresh clothes so I do have these things just loose because there's you know whenever they want to wear them they can oh my sakes y'all I'm having such a time with my camera equipment tonight um, okay I thought I would just kind of show you some of the outfits that I put together for my kiddos so I made um, all of their shirts I just used my Cricut and I designed some shirts with some Disney uh, characters and sayings and then just cut uh, some heat treats for vinyl with my Cricut and then ironed on the shirt. So I'm not going to move all of the cards, but this is the Incredibles family. And my daughter had originally wanted her shirt to say I'm incredible. And both my kiddos absolutely love the Incredibles, so I made my son a shirt as well. So this is actually a navy shirt. And then um, these are his little plaid shorts. And what else do we have here? So this one is, let me see if I can just open it. Uh, this one um, says Lost Boys, or Lost Boy. Um, I'm a huge Peter Pan fan, and we are going to meet Tinkerbell on our second day there. So I have him wearing that shirt then, and he's just got some yellow shorts to go with that. And then, let's see. Oh, this is his going home outfit. Um, I just have some really... Um, nice cotton shorts that'll be comfortable for driving and we are going to do some extra magic things and they'll get little gifts each evening and one of the last gifts that he will get is a mickey t-shirt that uh, is actually from target um so that will be part of his going home outfit so he just has his undies and his um, shorts in this bag so for my daughter here is one of her shirts now i actually purchased this design I actually made myself this shirt as well um, and I love this like turquoise tea leaf whatever color vinyl it's like one of my favorite colors it's so pretty um, and I have got it paired with some little pink shorts with little ruffles on the pockets from Carter's and I think it's just such a cute little outfit now this bag is actually for my daughter's um, stuff for the park so she's got shorts and socks an extra pair of undies and this is her shirt um, it's Bullseye, Jesse, and Woody from Toy Story, and she wanted it to say yeehaw underneath, so I made her this shirt. So the day when we meet Tinkerbell, she's going to wear this Faith, Trust, and Pixie Dust shirt with a little Tinkerbell on it, and she just has some denim shorts to go with that. And our very first thing that we are going to do, um, on our first park day is we're going to have breakfast. We're going to do the Winnie the Pooh breakfast. So I put together um, Winnie the Pooh shirts for all of us. And this is my daughter's. And I just love this lettering. Best friends forever. I think it's so cute. So this is going to be her shirt. And this is another design that I ended up actually um, purchasing. But um, it's the <laughs> dingle hopper hair. Don't care. And I made myself this shirt as well. I wasn't totally satisfied with this file because the circle is supposed to go all the way around, but they didn't design the circle thick enough. Um, my Cricut cut it, but it didn't, um, it didn't stay down and it tore up when I was weeding the shirt. So I wasn't totally thrilled with that, but I don't think anybody's going to know or care. And obviously I don't. So she's got this purple shirt. And then if it was going to be cooler, I packed these to go with, but, um, I've got these like sparkly leggings and I think it would be so cute, but I don't think it's going to be that cool. It's supposed to be between, between like, um, 75 and 80, um, most of the days that we're there. So I don't know. I don't think we'll end up wearing the leggings, but if we do, I thought I just would throw them in there. So it'd be so cute as it is. She does have these, um, turquoise shorts with the little bit of ruffle there. So be very Ariel. And on our first night there, we um, are, we're going to go to Disney Springs and I figure that everybody's going to want to change um, from being in our truck and traveling so I packed us all fresh outfits of course and um, so this is Minnie and I did some little heat transfer vinyl hearts on her and then I put my daughter's name underneath and then this is her Incredibles shirt so it's just like my son's only this is 
you can see the whole thing here. And so here is his shirt for when they meet the Incredibles. He absolutely loves Elastigirl. Like, he is just her biggest fan. Um, and so I have her silhouette here and then is super with a play on the fact that they're super. So he loves this shirt. I, he actually, I made him um, another one just as a test to make sure that I could, you know, got the vinyl down good and stuff. And he wears it all the time. He loves it. And then this is his shirt for the Winnie the Pooh um, breakfast. It's just Pooh's face on this white shirt, and it's so cute. I initially was going to put it on a yellow shirt, but um, it just worked out to do the white, but I think it's so cute. Um, he's got Tigger ears that he's going to wear with this. So here's another shirt that I did. This is um, a Peter Pan one, Never Grow Up, and my son just has, um, there's another shirt in here too, because um, these shirts that I ended up buying are way too huge. I had ordered them from a blank t-shirt company, um, and they're extra small, but my son's way too tiny for them. In fact, they actually fit my eight-year-old daughter a whole lot better than they do my five-year-old. So anyways, I just packed um, an extra shirt behind just in case he decides he doesn't want this giant shirt on him um, he was kind of fussy about it but there was no more time to make new shirts and there weren't actually it was just really difficult to find um, blank shirts like at Carter's or children's place things like that even Walmart didn't really have any so he's got the option to do either or and so I just thought I'd show you this was another shirt that I did for him. Um, again, it's just so big. It'll fit him one day, probably in like two years. Um, but uh, I brought it anyways just in case he does want to wear it. Um, and it's our good friend Donald. I do have one more shirt. It's already packed away, but it's of a Mickey silhouette. And he's wearing um, big aviator sunglasses. And that's on a black t-shirt with um, white heat transfer vinyl. Okay, so the bag is pretty much full, but I do have a little bit more space, so I am going to go ahead and add their swimwear. So I've brought them each um, a bathing suit. So my daughter has two bathing suits, and then my son has a rash guard and shorts, and then just some swim trunks. So um, I'll go ahead and stick those in, and then their toiletries we will put into another, another bag. Okay, so their bag is all packed, and then we're going to go ahead and move into another portion of our packing, which is all over here. So everything on the chair here is for our drive. So we are leaving our town here in northern Ontario, Canada, and we're heading into western Pennsylvania, actually the Poconos area, to stay with um, my husband's friend for the night. We're going to stay there for one night, and then we are going to head on down to Florida, but we're likely going to stay in a hotel at least once. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pack a bag just for stuff for the drive. So that I'm not having to bring in our big suitcase or, you know, the kiddo's big thing. And excuse that. <laughs> our armoire there, the drawer needs fixed. And that's priority number two, actually, <laughs> when we come back. We have another project to fix before, when we come back. That's number one. That's number two. Um, so anyways, I have got driving outfits. And then actually on this chair are the driving outfits for the day that we leave, too. So... Um, we have got pajamas and just everything. And then on our way back up, we are going to go back to Pennsylvania, but we're going to be in northwestern Pennsylvania. Yes, north. Yes, northwestern. We're actually going to be in eastern. Oh my gosh, it's late, guys. Um, so anyways, I have also pulled out stuff for my kids for our trip to Pennsylvania to visit my family because that's where I'm from. So I don't know how long we're going to stay, but I've packed for three days. So this is my son's pack. This is my daughter's. He's got another one here. And she's got another one. And I think all of his clothes fit in three bags. Hers fit in two. Um, so again, this stuff can stay in our hotel bag or it can just stay separately so that all we have to really worry about are our toiletries um, and just some clothes rather than bringing in our giant suitcases and overwhelming all of us. So 
that's um, the next portion of packing that I'm going to do. So for that bag, I think I'm going to use this 31 bag. Um, I'd been, this is one of their extra large utility totes. This one right here is actually a large utility tote, but I think I'm going to pack it in the extra large just so I make sure that I have room for all of our toiletries, my blow dryer, um, makeup, and all of that jazz. I think this will just fit everything a little bit better, and we'll just, um, yeah, do that. So I'm going to empty this, put all of these clothes that need to go back in the dressers into there, and then get the hotel bag done. Okay, so I've got the kids' bags all set up here, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my husband's stuff, my stuff, and then the kiddos' things. And for our things here, so what I've done is I have my shirt that I'm going to wear um, after our night at our friend's house. Um, <clears throat> And inside of my shirt, I have just tucked my underwear and my socks. And that's how I'm just going to do everybody's stuff. So that they'll have just like this one packet of clothes. And it's just really easy that way. Okay, so it is the next day. And I'm back in my same spot working on packing. Um, this basket stays in our linen closet. And this is all of our travel stuff. So, you know, travel cases... Um, laundry bag, any little travel toiletries that we have just all kind of live in here. So I'm not sure all that's in this basket, but I'm going to pull some things out that I know that we're going to need for the trip. For instance, a laundry bag. Um, a lot of people like to use a pop-up hamper, but this just really works for us. We've got this, um, just takes up no space at all. And I think we'll probably end up doing laundry at least one day while we're in Disney. So this is just a, I think they're called Diddy Bags, <laughs> um, from 31. Uh, I got it for free. A friend sells 31 and included it in my order once. So in here, I actually keep a lot of these just um, refillable bottles. And I'm going to pull some of those out and fill them up with things, um, especially uh, like body wash and shampoo for the kiddos. And one of them I will use for our, probably like one of these, um, to put dish soap in. It was really recommended in a lot of videos to pack some dish soap to wash your dishes um, while you're at Disney, like your travel, like refillable mugs and stuff. Um, they do provide washing stations, but um, you know, going from coffee to juice or pop or something, it's just gross and sometimes water just doesn't totally cut it. So I am gonna bring a little bit of soap and like I mentioned, we're gonna be on the road for at least two weeks. Um, and we'll bring some of our own like refillable water bottles and I'll want to get those washed too. So anyways, one of these will go for that. I've got another little um, travel tube here. This is more of a squeezy one. I am going to bring full size containers of shampoo um, and body wash because in all honesty, because we're going to be gone for so long, I do not want to be just bugging around with like little tiny containers and trying to deal with all those. It'll just make more sense to use um, just some new products. So I've got a whole plethora of things kind of all around me here and I'm going to work on getting out what I need and putting away what I don't. Okay, so here is where I'm at right now. I am switching out into a different purse um, for our trip, and I went ahead and kind of pulled everything from my current purse and reorganized some things. So um, in these cases, I've got just some tech stuff, um, some pens and things, and then this is just some toiletries, you know, just extra stuff that you want to have in your purse, band-aids and all that kind of stuff, little mirror, toothbrush, or um, dental floss, you know, that stuff. Um, these are my keys, uh, some armoral wipes for our truck, some gum, hand lotion, um, this is a koozie for um, coffee cup, and my wallet. I've got this charger out because I want to charge that up, and this is just a wet bag. I haven't decided if I'm going to pack anything in this yet, or if this is just going to go in my suitcase for um, later. I also filled this little container here, this little case. This is um, a, actually a jewelry case from 31, but I've put my essential oils inside. I don't really plan on wearing much jewelry on this trip, and what I do um, take will just probably be like a couple pairs of earrings. 
And I'm just going to stick it in one of these little baggies. This actually came with the case and that's all I need. And I'll just stick that in my suitcase. Um, so in here, I've just got some peppermint oil. This is so good for headaches. Um, and then I have several roller bottles of blends that I've made for myself. And there's three on top and then three on the bottom. And then just some essential oils that I want to take. So I've got some lavender, serenity, and this is great for sleeping, um, on guard. And I'm going to diffuse this every night so that we can just, you know, kind of boost up our immunity being around all those people. Um, some frankincense. I use this, um, for my, uh, nighttime skincare. I just drop, put a drop into my moisturizer and rub it on my face and some easy air. So this is just, um, to help with any breathing or if somebody starts to get sick, like it just, oh my gosh, it's like one of my favorites. Um, and then some balance and peace. So these are the oils that I'm bringing with us and this will get all packed up. So I went ahead and I got a lot of my toiletries in this bag. Um, I still need to get a couple things and I haven't got ready for the day yet. So not everything is yet in here. Um, this is the kiddos case. I thought I'd show you this. So I've got their toothbrushes just in this little zipper part right here. And that'll keep those away from, you know, all of the other stuff. So in here I've got a little pack of tissues, um, some toothpaste, a comb, and then some nail clippers, and then this is just a homemade salve that I made for my son. His skin is so dry and um, this helps with his skin. So that's everything in there. And I've just kind of packed it in my toiletry bag right now. Um, one thing that I did remember to take was this little scoopy to rinse their hair when, um, like my daughter will probably just get a shower, but my son, um, he takes baths and to rinse his hair. Um, so yeah, I've just got some of my toiletries. I don't have any of my hair stuff in here yet, but we've got plenty of room. Um, this little zipper part, there is a washcloth for washing off my makeup when we're at um, a friend's house, um, some cotton pads for face toner and bobby pins. Just some of the stuff that I'd rather keep kind of quote unquote dry. And then down in here, I still need to get it. I'd like a toothbrush cover for my toothbrush, but I put a new toothbrush in here. I just kind of like to travel with a new toothbrush, some dental like floss picks and then toothpaste. So again, I still got a lot to put in here, but there's so much room. So over in this bag, I've started to put a lot of things that we'll use for like our park bag. Um, I think I'm just going to pack everything in this little like grocery sack and put it in a suitcase so that when I go to par pack my park bag, I've kind of got everything corralled as much stuff, I guess, <laughs> as I can. Um, I also put together my makeup. So I, this whole thing is not filled with makeup, but, uh, it looks so full. This is another 31 bag. Um, and, but in here, I've got this case and it's got all of my brushes in them. So after I do my makeup today, I'm going to go ahead and wash all of my brushes so that they are clean and nice for our trip. Um, I probably won't wash them while I'm away. I do have a lot of brushes and some of them are like kind of duplicates. So I don't have to worry about washing every eyeshadow brush each time. I'll have like several clean ones. And in here, I've just, you know, got blush and powders and, you know, just some things. So there's not a whole lot. Like, I've just got a couple things of each. And I'm going to take one eyeshadow palette. And it's got a whole bunch of colors. So I really love to do my makeup. So it's just kind of a thing. Um, and, yeah. And then in the zipper part, I've got, like, some eyeglass cleaner, my mascara, um, hair clip, tweezers, that kind of stuff. So that is all in there. And this is pretty much all good to go. I did actually go ahead and kind of wipe off all of my makeup. It was a good opportunity to clean everything up. I know that kind of sounds silly, but... Um, when you're doing your makeup every day, I don't know, it can get kind of gunky and gross. So it was a good opportunity to clean everything up. Okay, so I'm working on packing up our toiletries. I am using this black case. It came with a um, suitcase set that I have bought my husband. And it's quite 
roomy. Um, it's designed to be like a carry-on bag, and this, you know, would slip right over your uh, rolling suitcase. Initially, I was going to use this toiletry bag from 31, um, but I just, it was just, everything was jamming in there, and this is a lot roomier. I've also kind of divided up my products because, because we are staying at, um, my husband's friend's house and it just to make it easier than having to lug this whole bag around with me as I go into the bathroom, you know, to wash my makeup off at night. Um, and you know, all the things that you do rather than lugging this whole bag around. What I did was I kind of broke things up a bit. So in this bag, I've got all of the products that I would need for, you know, washing my face and my skincare routine. So I put all of that in that bag. Um, and this one I've done with my hair stuff. So again, I just it's all contained rather than being just loose in this bag. Um, I've got one for shower stuff, and I included the kids' stuff in here, their shower things. So it's all contained. And if on the chance that something should leak, it would just all stay in the bag. I have one for my toothbrush and stuff and I did one for my razor I'm actually gonna stick it inside of this bag um, the stupid razor actually cut me today which is no fun um, and then what I'm doing is with this little bag I'm putting all of our like medicine supplies and stuff in here so I still need to run into our kitchen where we keep that stuff and fill it with you know the standard stuff that you would need if you're kind of maybe going out of town um, and just wanting to be prepared. So I'm going to fill this up with some of those things. And um, yeah, and then this is the kiddos bag and I'll stick this in here as well. So this bag is really roomy and my other thought with this was I'd be able to put my blow dryer, which is that orange thing, and my curling iron in here as well so that it's just not loose in that bag. Okay, so I thought I'd show you what everything looks like packed up in here. So as you can see, there's a lot of room on top. Um, so I'm going to just stick the kiddos thing in here. And I do have room for my um, blow dryer and curling iron, so I'll stick those on top. And then our toiletries will be good to go. My husband has a separate case for his toiletries, so I'm just going to have him pack that up. And maybe, maybe I'll just stick that in here and just keep my blow dryer and stuff in the bag. I think that's what I'll do then all our toiletries are all together. Okay, so I thought I'd show you my suitcase. Um, it is this big old pink suitcase. I'm not even sure what brand it is, um, but it's a hard case. And in here, I've just got this wet bag and I've got flip-flops in here. I need to add another pair. Um, my husband and I are sharing this suitcase, so most of my things are on this side. Um, these are my shirts that I made and my pants and shorts and things for Disney. Um, these are my sneakers and these are in a 31 bag and then underwear <laughs> underneath and our swim stuff is here. Did I say all my socks are in here? I don't know, but they're in there. Um, on this side is uh, pajamas and then his clothes are over here as well so um, that's basically it for the suitcase I'm gonna go and add that other pair of flip-flops into this bag and then get it zipped up because this is good to go so everything's kind of a jumbled mess around here we are living in a little bit of crazy if you are packing for Disney you may totally get that um, but these are the kiddos bags for our for their drives. This is my son's and inside he's got, um, he's five and he's got like a look and see book. He's got an in a tab. He's got some coloring books and there's an etch a sketch in there. Um, this little crocodile game that, oh my goodness. That's one of these things where you like open it up and press down the teeth and then try and hope that it doesn't bite you. Um, he's got some toys in this section, just little things, a lot of Incredibles characters in there, so stuff for um, his, uh, for him to do. And then this is my daughter's bag. These are actually my son's stuffies, so those are coming with him, but they're in her bag for now. So she's got her inno tab, she's got her diary, she's got a little um, bag full of pencils and crayons and things, uh, tic-tac-toe, um, 
um, lots of games and a book to read and more books and more books and sticker books and joke books and all kinds of fun stuff for her to do while we're driving. And then on her strap, I thought this was so cute. She has all of these Scentsy Buddies and Beanie Boos all clipped on here. Lots of fun. And she's taken this little Scentsy Buddy. And that is her bag. I'm just going to stick those in there for now. And then I think I am going to go ahead and go get my bag packed, like my car bag. Okay, so I've got my bag all packed. This is just the Vera Bradley. I think it's actually called the Vera. Um, so inside here, it is lined with pockets all the way around and I've got the matching case set. So in here, I've got just some pens and highlighters. Um, in this pocket is some hand cream and there's nothing in that pocket. Um, this pocket has tech stuff, so chargers, earbuds, um, some ports to plug in, you know, like the electrical socket, those things. Um, and this is, I'm going to put my USA change in there. And then in this one, I have just got some gum. So in this thing, I'm going to put, um, this is like a padded sort of case. I'm going to stick my iPad in here. I've also got... Um, or passports and the kids birth certificates in this and then I've got my essential oils case down here I've got my wallet here I've got this Sunsy scent circle to stick in our window tomorrow um, and then this is the medicine case I haven't I still haven't filled that up yet but um, I was just sticking in there to see how it would work and then this is just my standard um, toiletry case that I would just keep in a purse with all of the things that you might need while you're out and about. So I've still got lots of room in here to add um, a couple books, notebook, of course my phone, and um, just anything else I think that I would like to have close by as we're driving. And then when we run into stores and things, I'll just take my wallet out. I won't carry this whole big thing in. And I think that I'm actually going to use this as my park bag when we are at Disney. And I'll just unload most of this stuff and put it, um, the park bag stuff in here. So in this bag, I have added all of the things, um, little snacks, a travel mug, um, this bag I ended up putting all of the medicine supplies in just because it was a lot bigger and um, we'll keep this bag near us in the truck. I added a roll of paper towels, some extra Ziploc bags just for whatever we might need. Um, I have trivia in my coffee. So anyways, this bag is all ready to go. It is a thermal bag even though we don't really have anything thermal going. Um, my purse is all packed with things to have near me in the truck. And this is my suitcase, all, it's all ready to go. And we have my daughter's sleeping bag for when we stop at um, friends' houses. And it's my husband's to-go bag, lots of boots and shoes, and those aren't all coming with us, but they'll get put away. Um, the Rubbermaid bins actually have to run into the garage before we leave. It's just all this last minute stuff. We're leaving in a few moments. I don't think I showed you what was in this bag, but this is actually all of our tech stuff. So in here is a laptop, um, an essential oil diffuser, um, DVDs and portable DVD player and all kinds of techie things, chargers, all the stuff that we would need as far as tech is concerned. So it's all in that bag and everything else. That's our overnight bag and my kiddos bags for our vehicle toiletries, an umbrella for my daughter, and we're ready to go. So in this bag here, this is a Land's End tote, and I have all of the extra magic stuff that we are going to um, do for our kiddos. It's all in there, and I'm going to have a whole separate video about that.